It's currently midnight and I want to make this. Theory video quick because I'm tired and want this to release ASAP. So many YouTubers and fans of. Garden of Banban as you know have been speculating on why they are skipping. Garden of Banban 5 and I either have it completely correct or so badly wrong. So Garden of Banban 5 is an existing game on. The Steam page which is soon to release and has this strange blue figure. People have been saying how this creature could be Zulfius but. Like a few people have said, he would be too big to fit in the rooms. I'll go into that now. So the Steam game showed us the exact same. Images of Garden of Banban the first game, but with this red hue to it and in one of the images. Has this eerie quite large creature that looks like Zulfius staring out from the main lobby. Now let's get into my first ever theory video. So GOB5 seems to take place in the first game. And I think this is because of, I'll go step by step. This blue creature that we see made me think of Chamataki, but I know it sounds gross, but without their eyes, this may have happened from whatever happens after the chase scene. In the new GOB4 game and we go through to the next places, however this thing could still be related to Zulfius. The reason I think we are going back is because in Garden of Banban 6 we do whatever happens and ends with us going back up to the top. And the reason we get there is because we start again. We might get deja vu, but the main reason the character came here is for their kids, right? This could be really dumb and I'm overcomplicating. But I mean, I'm tired, so anyways, the large pit that was found when Opella chases us. I found out that it was a large ball pit or some sort. And a dreadful experience of children falling down occurred as the ball pit soon vanished into the Abyss. I'm so tired I didn't want to show the text on the screen. Too much effort right now, I'm so sorry. However, I think we go back to the main lobby. To go down to the abyss to find out child who could possibly be dead and because of this incident. The mascots have become crazy because maybe like FNAF there are dead children's souls in them. Maybe our children are found dead, but that's a huge turn. That might not occur. Why do I think it relates to the ball pit? Because in the game description, it talks about how we go to a place where nitrogen monoxide one has been before. And that could be as they can't get out or they are dead. And I think the reason that we go back in number is because we rewind to the starting place. And I might be wrong, but I think the description also said how we have no friends. Ben Ben probably betrayed us again and we lost everything and knocked us out and placed us back at. The start with things in different locations. I'm tired and probably wrong, but I mean we need to see GOB6 first before anything else. It's just a theory, by the way. I hope you see where I am trying to go with this. Also, you might ask how the ball pit would have fell down. I think it has to do with Zulfius and his big size and maybe whatever this blue thing is. Also remember the secret video people found. That could be Zulfius trying to hint that way did to our kids wasn't aimed at us and was. For something else. And he might help us get. Down the pit to prove his friendship, loyalty towards us. I hope I didn't miss anything out but that's so much. For sticking until the end. I need to sleep. Thank you so much guys. I love you all and good night 3.